Um, so my group um, dis uh, discovered how um, uh, myeloproliferative neoplasm, in particular myelofibrosis and polycythemia, um, overexpress uh, CD47 and uh, down-express um, uh, caretikula in the membrane uh, when patients are exposed to cytoreductive drug um, or um, uh, drug inhibitors such as um, ruxolitinib. Um, so we um, found that the CD47 expression, uh, as in other tumor, um, signal an antiphagocytic message, which then protect um, the myeloproliferative clone from the attack of the immune system and potentially the clearance um, of the disease. Um, because there are uh, available uh, drugs that can uh, interfere with the CD47 signaling, um, uh, monoclonal antibody, uh, anti-CD47, uh, we thought that this could be a therapeutic target um, uh, for myeloproliferative neoplasms. Our in vitro studies um, uh, demonstrated how uh, CD34 positive cells from patients with myelofibrosis in particular um, overexpress CD47 um, when you then incubate those cells with an antibody against CD47 and we use magrolimab um, which is a Gilead compound. Um, we found a, that when we then mix those cells with macrophages, um, we reduce significantly the number of uh, survival cells uh, in vitro, suggesting that the interaction with the antibody uh, facilitate the macrophages clearance of those cells uh, in vitro. When we then combine uh, magrolimab with ruxolitinib, for example, then we saw an even um, highest number of cells dying in vitro, suggesting that um, the combination might be successful uh, in enhancing the effect of ruxolitinib in um, these patients.